folks, this is Ziggy, nice to see you again and uh, well in my last lesson I did a kind of call and answer play with you and a lot of people liked it and now well I had the, the idea just to improvise a little bit with you, just to have a little bit of fun and uh, I took out my old Viva Forever um, playback and you can play on top of it if you play pentatonic and I want to take the uh, five pentatonic notes from the E minor scale and just just only want to use them here in this place look here you all can play them it's in this it starts with the middle finger in the 16th fret on the G string then we go to the 15th fret of the B 17th of the B so and do the same on the E string, 15th and 17th. Look here. Listen. And so we can start and find a few few licks if you like yeah that just come to my mind I haven't prepared anything and uh, but listen let's start with that When you pull the string be careful to and when you bend it sorry not pull but bend it with the correct way look here be careful not to destroy them but because of my playing the acoustic guitar I've got quite a lot of power in my fingers and if I want to I think I could break them yeah um, this is a typical I think David Gilmour lick he tries to play things like that I play to that note here. That that is the note I want to reach in the first position. And then do another half step higher. Okay. That was not clean once again. You see, it's not easy to get all the time the correct pitch of the note. Here we are. Listen. There it is. Here I played a kind of uh, triple feeling. Listen to this again. Sometimes it's fun to slide from the other side into a note. Listen to this here. most used phrases here. Bend the note, go back, pull off, use the middle finger here. You see we are always dealing with the same notes but there are so many different possibilities. Yeah, listen to this again here.
So you can. Play something like that to let the you 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 push the string and then let it slightly come back to its original position. And in between you you uh, hit the string, yeah? Let's go on. is sometimes used by blues guitarists. You, you hear the blue note on the 15th fret of the E string. So what we want to gain is control. This is when I see a guitarist playing a solo, when I can say, well, he's really playing what is in his head, but sometimes you see uh, that a guitarist is not good enough and you you can say well the guitar plays with him and not he him w w not he with the guitar you know I think you know what I mean you must know when you hit the string when you want to play a note where you want to get to yeah and uh, to get an absolutely con tone control that is a great thing when you want to and it is absolutely necessary you want to play solo <laughs> One of my favorite phrases when I want to play speedy is to just play, to use maybe the notes here in between, isn't it? Maybe you like this phrase. time we've only used these notes um, except the last phrase where I played something like that. But it is important to keep the beat to be on the groove. So two main important things, tone control and groove. That's everything you need and uh, well um, I let the playback play a little bit and then you can improvise. I say goodbye for today and have a great time.